At 8 a.m. it was the kids running around. At 9 a.m. it was construction. I was just trying to get a little sleep. Someone please send coffee. Let's go. Welcome back to the baseball extravaganza that is sweeping the nation. I don't know which nation, but it's sweeping one of them. MLB 30 and 30. First things first, I want to thank everybody for the feedback so far. It's been overwhelming. I appreciate you very much. And if you haven't commented yet, always feel free to do so in the comment section below, whether you think I missed something or you just want to say something in general. Today's park is on the bucket lists of many people. I have been looking forward to it for a long time, and it absolutely delivered. So let's get to it. This is Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Some quick facts about Camden Yards. It is right in the heart of downtown Baltimore, Maryland. It opened in 1992 and its capacity is 44,970. It's fluctuated a bit over the years, but still good for top 10. Now Camden Yards is special for a lot of reasons, but perhaps the main one is that it basically served as the blueprint for the modern day baseball park that we all know and love today. Now what exactly does that mean? Well, there's a lot to it, but basically the Cliff Notes version is it started a trend of retro ballparks that basically provided nostalgic feel, but also have unique features to them. You know, things that make every ballpark different, which is kind of the whole point of the series. So basically, I owe this series to you, Camden Yards. Thank you very much. But it would take me a long time to explain all that Camden Yards truly inspired. So Dan Moore of The Ringer did a fantastic article about that, and I put it in the description. Please check it out when you can. But in the meantime, let's get to it. I don't even need to say anything. I'm just taking this all in because this is fantastic. Now this is what's up. I don't tan, I just turn red. Won't have that problem tonight. All right, couple ideas for food I've been given by others. I'm told by multiple people that the pit beef is the way to go. So that's gonna be first choice for sure. A couple of other people also swear by the smoked turkey sandwich. This actually might be where it is actually. That might be where the pit beef is and I'm kind of hungry. So we might just jump in that. We already knew we were gonna have it anyway. So no point in walking around before we get something. So it's big boogs or regular boogs. We didn't come here to be regular. Go big or go home. Would you look at this me? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, the chips as well. Oh my goodness, just give it to me. Let's get this show on the road. Come on. If this isn't a top candidate, I don't know what's gonna be. Look at all these chips. How can I eat all this? Chips are all right. This is an amazing looking sandwich. All right, here we go. Going for the beans. Cheers. Solid beans. I don't know if they're worth five bucks, but solid beans nonetheless. And if something's good, I'm not gonna complain. All right, moment of truth. Here comes the beef. I don't know if there was supposed to be a sauce with this or not, but here we go. It doesn't jump out at you like a couple of the other items, but once you get into it, it is solid. Good start so far. All right, we're gonna get a bit daring here. Beans on the semi for a little bit of sauce. Don't say I don't live dangerously. I don't know, this might get messy also. And you'll be happy to know that for the 15th time, or sorry, for the 16th time out of 16, I've once again forgotten to get napkins. You might think it's a bit at this point. No, I'm actually just stupid. Cheers anyway. That was a good decision. Anyway, moving on to some of the historical parts around Camden Yards, including a Hall of Fame exhibit outside, some statues of former players. There's a lot of history here. This guy, by the way, not a Hall of Famer yet. Keep the dream alive, kid. But let's move inside and see what these interiors look like. And man, these concourses are spacious. The Chicken Shack. Charm City Chicken Shack, I beg your pardon. I really do always love a good tender basket. It's hard to mess that up. It's possible, but it's difficult. I'm told that the crab cakes in Baltimore to die for. Some people have described them as life-changing. I've never had crab cakes in Baltimore. Gonna try and make it happen tonight after the game, but not sure if places will be open, how much time I'll have, we'll see. But, well, okay, now hang on a second. Where I was gonna try to get crab cakes were from Jimmy's Seafood, and it looks like that's right here. Jimmy's famous seafood I've heard from so many people as being the best crab cakes they've ever had in their life. 
So I might actually be circling back here. Spoiler, I will be back here. But first, let's try a local Baltimore beer and a cool spot in the outfield, I might add. All right, I've found the spot with the local IPAs. Brick and Whistle. Now it's just which one I want to get. So we have a Royal Crush, a, a juicy IPA out of Flying Dog here in Baltimore. I still might come back and try that Snake Dog, but we'll see. Either way, cheers to you. Oh, that's solid. More orangey than I thought it was gonna be. Not bad though. Definitely, this is kind of more along the lines of like the Lining Kugels version of an IPA. Like you could probably sit out in the sun and have these, um, well, all day. This area in the outfield reminds me of Tampa yesterday because it's kind of a porch, obviously a different shape, but the center field porch seems to be where a lot of people like to hang out. We've seen this at multiple parks. Obviously you get a great view of the field and it's just a cool spot. I actually thought it would be a little bit more crowded for a Friday night out in Baltimore, but um, probably a little less than half full, I would say. I'd have to make another lap, but I thought it'd be better attendance. Still a fun night. <laughs> I found the Kansas City Brigade. Here we go. Let's go, Wolves! Let's go, Wolves! Let's go O's! 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 Uh, Sorry, Rob. Uh, you guys hate tried so Orioles. hard. I still have yet to make a bet on this trip. I think my head couldn't take it. Then all of a sudden I start hating teams and what's it worth? I'm supposed to be a neutral at these things. Not a hater or a lover. To be fair, as much as you hate, it can make the night just as good, but I'm scared. What can I tell you? Fine, I said it, I'm scared. Pretty cool weather, a little bit overcast, but nice day anyway. A few moments later. Oh, it's actually raining. So much for that nice day talk. That was awesome. So I'm guessing when the Orioles score a run, they just start splashing a bunch of people. That does spell funny, so I can get behind that. Smile, you're in Birdland. Good stuff, lad. I like the unique spin. You don't hear that song often. If ever. That song you do hear all the time though, so we'll just skip it. But what you don't hear all the time is the Baltimore Orioles tradition. Apparently at the seventh inning stretch, they play Thank God I'm a Country Boy by John Denver. Unfortunately, I cannot play this for you as it would violate copyright issues. So to do a great rendition of that, welcome to the stage, Dallas Dave, everybody. Dallas Dave. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. You're not serious, are you? Well, life on the farm's kind of laid back. Ain't much of no country boy like me can't act. Early to rise, early in the sack. Thank God I'm a country boy. Well, I got me a fine wife. I got me an old fiddle. Somebody, somebody turn this shit off. All right, all right. <laughs> That's going to do it from Baltimore, though. I can truly say it was one of my favorite parts of the entire trip, and I cannot wait to go back. But that is for another day, because tomorrow we are headed to Canada, baby. That's right. It is time to go to Toronto. Another good one, and I can't wait for that, and I hope you join me as well. But hey, if you think I missed something or just something else you'd like to say in general, do me a big favor. Leave it in the comments section below. And while you're down there, of course, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support means a lot to me, and I appreciate you very much. Wait, wait. Weren't you supposed to get crab cakes or something? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. You know, it's no fun unless we get our stair fix in though, huh? Here we go. It's easier when you go downstairs. Thank you very much. What, sorry, what'd you throw on there? What is that? Oh, that's mango kanzu and spicy mayo and the bottom is uh, coleslaw. Thank you very much. <laughs> Holy sh**. I have such high hopes for these. Please don't disappoint. Here we go. Cheers. Those are very good. Here's the thing, if I hadn't had the brisket egg rolls already, this would be 
so far near the top of the list. But it's hard to keep up with the brisket egg rolls. But these are solid. Either way, it's a good decision. These are almost bite-sized, by the way. I know, I'm disgusting. Why would anyone want to watch you? I don't know.